Good day Aquarius and welcome to my channel. I'm Misha the Psychotic Psychedelic Gypsy and this is your weekly reading for May 29th to June 4th. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Eight of clubs. Six of clubs. King of spades. Six of Spades. Okay, so you need to move on with life. You need to move on with your life for your peace of mind, for your mental health. Um, you need to travel away. Um, either travel far, far away, or you're going to be traveling far, far away, and it's going to lead you to peace of mind, or you need to travel away. And that can be really far, far away. That can be as far away as from. Illinois to Arizona or it can be as short of a way as to just some place in town that you haven't been to but either way you need to travel somewhere you've never been uh, perhaps do something you've never done because it is going to uh, help you with your mental state and it is going to welcome you into a new life uh, perhaps you'll be enlightened by going somewhere and perhaps something will enlighten you and it will give you peace of mind and um, a new a new path forward in life uh, you need this and it is coming so uh, prepare for that and that's going to be throughout the whole week so perhaps throughout the whole week go to new places that you've never been to maybe travel outside town or perhaps you're going to move uh, if you're thinking about moving, this would be a good time to go ahead and move. Uh, at the beginning of the week, you're going to have to compromise with somebody. Um, it's either good or bad, and it can be in love. It can be with your partner. Uh, but you need to be aware so you don't get the short end of the stick here. Okay? Uh, there's nothing good or bad about it, but you can, you know, get the short end of the stick. So be aware of that. In the middle of the week... Um, you're going to get much praise uh, due to your su success, and you need to sing it from the mountaintop. Don't uh, don't don't isolate on this. You you worked hard for whatever this is that people are praising you on. The success is due to your hard work. So take the win. Just uh, stay humble. You know, don't let your ego get all crazy. Just stay humble. You know, don't worry about it. You know, uh, you might be the type of person that doesn't like praise. You know. And that might cause you to want to isolate, but you need a not to. You need this. You need this praise. You need that feeling. You need to go ahead and take it and just stay humble about it. You know, don't let your ego go to your head or anything. Oh, wow. Okay, so at the end of the week, uh, you need to pull out your leadership skills and you need to use your head and let go of your ego. So being humble, you know, your ego, they kind of goes hand in hand. So definitely watch your ego don't let your ego get out of control because you're going to have the success and this praise and then right afterwards people are going to look up to you for leadership and that can go to your head so don't let that go to your head you know nobody wants to follow an egotistical asshole so uh and this you know perhaps you're leading people to travel away to somewhere you know what i'm saying uh but either way do some traveling whatever it may be, or you might be doing some traveling. I don't see it here, really. But uh, uh, do some traveling. Get out there. And, um, you know, don't let your ego get too crazy. But but accept the praise that you're going to be getting from your success. Uh, so there you go. I hope it resonated. If it did, hit that like button. And if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back here next week. And until then, stay safe, stay mindful, stay healthy.